piece. Can't even barely get my hands around it. Really good size. Whoa. Heavy sucker. Woohoo! Look at the size of that puppy. Okay, baby. Thanks for the fight. Now these here are my SSTs. There are currently six different models of SSTs that Akuma puts out. The one in the back there, the copper colored one, that was one of the originals. It, it's that one's called a salmon spin. Ooh, Those what are a extremely hit. powerful nice hit. rods. Nice hit. And a lot of people are used to that color. And they've been using, I think that I don't know how long it's been out, but it's it's also one of my favorites. That rod is so strong that it's set up with um that orange four thousand reel. That's the, the one time run a couple of years ago that Akuma put out. This rig, if you look at my um, videos, held as a, I would say it was a suspected GT. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it the bat, battle lasted for over ten minutes. It kept going in, out, in, out. Finally, on one of the runs in, it, it went into the mangoes and cut line. But I actually used that for shoreline dunking, which means um, bait casting. I I put out. Baits on that along the shoreline. I've caught many a jack, bonefish on that. The that SST is a solid built rod, but unfortunately Akuma did away with the um, the copper color ones, and they're concentrating more on the newer type of SSTs. The newer type, if you look at the thickness of the rod blanks, the the older rod blanks were thicker, and it was a different material. The new ones. A way way thinner and they're uh, more carbon based and I prefer the new ones to be honest I don't think they're as strong as resilient as the old ones but they're much lighter and I have more fun catching fish on the inshore areas with the lighter one uh, it's not very scientific but it when you actually handle them there's a huge weight difference look at the thickness of the handles right look at this that's a much thinner handle compare to the sticker one i mean that everything is right there for you to so, see you know out of the current six models i mean i i, I kind of like this one I, I i do like that model of sst and this is the 10 foot six now the 10 foot six this is a medium rated for three eighths to three quarter ounces now i if you compare this to the gsp the guy select pros these are beefier rods in my estimation. Even though the blanks are supposed to be the same, these are, to me, is a lighter, fair rod. The JSPs are, are way beefier. Um, and it, a lot has to do with the ratings and, and how they're built, but I've been using both for such a long time now. Um, I would say that if I'm gonna go for salmon, that's the first time I ever used the Guide Select Pro. If I, hold on, let me grab one. All right, if I was to go for salmon up at, go back up to the uh, the Northwest here, this is a typical Guide Select Pro. I would use this rod. These rods are built solid. I mean, they are bulletproof. I've caught so much salmon up there with using these rods. I, I'm just so much in love with them. Good friend of mine, um, Dr. Phil Nuneman, took me on a charter boat off the uh, Ilwaco Columbia River. And boy, we went to town on the salmon up there. Also um, bottom jigging for sturgeon. That was a while back. But it was the first time I was exposed to these type of rods. And since then, I met another um, good buddy of mine who unfortunately passed away. He um, even he loves these guide select pros. So um, if I was to just to go with power, resiliency and power is always going to be the guide select pro. Now what 
Akuma did is that these are high quality rods, okay? Um, so what Akuma did is they, they started to work on the SST line. We, we did the SST line from the original coppers to uh, this carbon um, gray finish. And what it is, it, it's, it's basically the same, same blanks, but the componentry is different. And you know, some people say, oh, does it mean cheaper? Well, you know what? I've had issues over the years here and there because of my high usage of the GSPs that every once in a while I had to work on my rods. Anytime you put in hundreds of hours on rods, no matter what it's, what type of rod it is, you're going to have to put some kind of time into it. But I found that over time, the SSTs stood right here. The SSTs stood the test of time. I prefer the SSTs uh, because to me, they're lighter. And I mean, depending on, depending on which rating you're getting, they are lighter to me. Um, they're more resilient. Even though the componentry, some people say it's a cheaper componentry, is yes, it price wise can be cheaper, but it's different. The componentry is different. But uh, when you go on the flats, and this one here, the ten foot six with the um, rating only up to three quarters, I hooked a near GT size jack with that one. It was around nine pounds. I had the the best fight of my life. I and that was with a three thousand um size spinner the very spinner is on that right now 3000 it takes a very same spinner of all things and that was fun now if i had used my typical nine foot nine or nine foot six guy select pro with a medium heavy rating just slightly heavier i would have brought the fish in in half the time and it wouldn't have been that fun um these rods were uh, specifically originally designed for the salmon up in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, so if you're here in Hawaii, if these things can handle salmons up to 30, 40 pounds, bringing in a GT is no problem. You still got to finesse it, but it's still no problem. So what I'm trying to say is um, both have their place. Um, it, it's going to be a debate for a long time, and not just me, but a lot of people, um, especially up in Washington State, Oregon, they use this. Oregon, they use this, a lot of this for seed perching in uh, Washington State, where I guess the birth of the guys like pros started, they use it for salmon. Um, they also, like I said, the guys like pros, there's four different models. Um, the SSTs, there's six. I mean, they range from everything to, I believe one of these is, yeah, right here. See what... This here is a C model, a casting model. The rest are spinning models. This one here, the only time I use this is when I go up to the Pacific Northwest, I take this one with me. Got a hook up. And I've caught quite a few salmon on it already. So Ooh, you, like you gotta cuda. match up your gear for the fish looks you're like using for and the, and the type of equipment you're using. Now, this here, is I'm gonna show you why I love these things yep. so much. This here is my basic Hawaii setup. This is a Guide Select Pro nine foot nine with a, a uh, Sedros 4000 uh, reel on it with 15 pound mono. This is good for just about everything, all right? It's a all purpose and type of rig. But this is, that there is more this here is more for ocean usage. And the reason why I say it's more for ocean usage is because it can handle big fish in case you get a decent hit. Now, when I go back to this one here, this is long, uh, even though this one here is nine foot nine, this one here is 10 foot six is longer, but it's a lighter rating. This is medium as compared to uh, medium heavy. And this one here has a 3,000 reel with um, eight pound um, braided line, whereas this is a 4,000 reel with 15 pound mono. You gotta match up your gear. So the reason why I, I like to um, go between the two, depending on what I'm going for, if I'm going to the ocean uh, where I can hit some big fish with medium fish, I'm gonna take this one because this one can handle decent sized fish. It's a stiff, stiffer, 
uh, rod. Um, it, it can handle a decent sized fish. And the 4,000 reel is, is a lot of power. Now, if we're going to go to the estuary flats, this is what I'm going to take with me. Um, the 10 foot 6 with a lighter rating will, will allow me to cast much, much farther. And with the 3,000 reel on it, it's perfect for what I get in the estuary area. So I have, and when I go to uh, the Pacific Northwest, I will take this one here. See, this is the C model with, with the um, guide here in the bottom. So you always match up what you're gonna do. So that's kind of like my report here. I'm not gonna say one is better than the other. You have to match up your equipment to what you're going out for. And once you do that properly, it's going to be more fun. You'll put fish on the table. And for me, um, putting fish on the table is nice, but I prefer to have fun. And with this type of rigs here, I'm going to have a lot of fun. And, and a lot of people say, hey, isn't that just some of what you have? It is true. This is what I have at the house. The main bulk of what I have is in my storage unit because I only can use one type of rod so much. And... and the other ones that I have are retired and they're put away. These are the ones I keep around just um, when I go out with friends or I'm trying something different. This is what I'll take with me. So it's at the house. The ones in storage um, put their time in and they, they deserve the break. So that's it. Um, there's no definite um, better rod or a, um, how should I put it? One is not better than the other. There's, there's specific rods used for specific surfaces, um, depending on the fish you're targeting, depending on the type of topography you're heading. So I'm gonna sum it up one more time that if I'm gonna go ocean side, I'm gonna take my guide select pros. If you're going off on uh, the Pacific Northwest for large salmons, use your guide select pros. If you're gonna go um, saltwater estuary flat areas, use your SSTs, use the SSTs. If you're lucky enough to still get, find the copper ones around, um, those are good purchases if you can get them. They're, they're very inexpensive. Um, I, Like I said, here in Hawaii, I'm gonna either take one or the other. You see, they're gonna take my nine foot nine Guide Select Pro or, my four, or any type of 4,000 reel you put on it. Um, and that will handle uh, quite a few um, species, uh, bigger species along the shoreline. But more all around will be this one here, the 10 foot 6 inch um, SST with my 3000 uh, spinner on it. That's more uh, along the line of what I normally take. All right. But thank you for listening to my synopsis. I've been doing, God, I've been using these rods for a long, long time. Um, the other ones I have in storage, or even before I was introduced to Kuma, I was using the products. It, it, the, these are good rods, they're solid rods. They're not that expensive compared to some of the other rods out there. These are quality rods that won't bust your bank account. Trust me, because I don't have that much money to play with back then, and even now I still don't. And these rods handle, trust me. Thank you.